He says, why did Allah have to make all of us? I said, well, we ask Allah, don't we? I'm here, not because I want to be here. I'm on earth because I was put on earth. Every one of us here, not a single one of us wanted to be here. No, you were placed here. That's why I say man is so insignificant. He's in a place that he didn't even ask to be in. He has no control over it. Did you have control over coming on earth? No, it means you will not have control the next stage too. It's Allah. So build a relation with whoever made you. Oh, you who put me here. I love you and I worship you alone. I'm going to put my head on the ground for you and I'm going to ask you. The day I return to you, have mercy on me because I worshipped you alone. Allahu Akbar. That's Islam. So if we are here without our own will, if Allah put us here, surely we need to behave in a way that we are conscious of the day we're going to go back. Everyone's going. Do you want to go? In the case of the bulk, it's no. Especially when Allah has created ease and so on. You know, it's something, it's something, again, something unique. Look, we came on earth. No one asked us if they could bring us here. They just brought us here. Okay, we came. Now when we're on earth, when you have problems, we want to go away. We head to where? Say, I want to die. Why? I've got too many problems. Have you heard people say that? I've heard a lot. They come to me and say, I don't want to live anymore. Why? Because I've got problems. I said, well, we came on earth to solve those problems. You don't have to die. Solve the problem. Well, I won't be able. You will. You will, by the help of Allah, solve all the problems by His will. You'll enjoy it. You'll be rewarded for it. I'm going to try and keep trying. That's Allah says, I sent you to test you. It's evidence that He's testing you. That's why we all have problems. But then there's another disaster. When your life is too much on the green side and it's very rosy and everything is growing and everything is blossoming guess what happens then then you don't want to die because you know what i'm enjoying i have a yacht i have a beautiful aircraft i'm sitting with mashallah a lovely luscious palace i've got another holiday home in the maldives i've got another one somewhere else and i've got here mashallah i still need to go the year passes you say but i was only there for 10 days but the palace is you know is collecting dust. I need to go a little bit longer. Imagine if the angel of death were to tell you, you've just got two years to go. You say, what? Two years, just two years. I've got two years. Can I tell you? The angel of death doesn't even give you notice. So what do you do? Allah says, enjoy. Definitely. If we've blessed you, enjoy it without forgetting us. Enjoy it, but keep a connection with us. Because with us, there's reality. With you, there's deception. With us, there's reality. With you, there's deception. What does that mean? Whatever we found on earth, we didn't have it when we came here. When I came on this earth, I quickly had to be clothed. I told my mom, I must have been such a good child, I didn't cry. She said, no, you yelled. You screamed. As you were born, that, that cry, you know. And as soon as I'm born, they covered me with something. Because I came with nothing. Allah tells you, oh man, don't ever say you have nothing. Because even if you just have a piece of cloth, you have more than what you came with. Subhanallah. That's why, as an honor to man, he sent back with more than he came with. The shroud. So no one can say, I came on earth, I've got nothing. You have. You might have less than others, but the best thing is your connection with Allah. Because even if you have a lot, you found it here, you're going to leave it here. Say for example, and say Amin. may Allah bless all of us, say Amin. May Allah grant us millions and billions so that we can spend it in the right path. Just say Amin. 